Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to write a bash script to kill a process. So first, I'm going to start a process. To start a process, I will open a terminal in a new tab and I will run gedit editor. This will start the gedit editor process and I will go back to the other terminal. And on this terminal, I will show you how to get the process information. And then at the end, we are going to write a bash script to kill the process. To get the running process information, we can use ps aux command and it will list all the process which are running on our system. And the second column is the process ID. Over here is our gedit editor, and this is the process ID of uh, our editor. To kill a process, we need this ID. And I'm going to filter now ps aux just a gedit uh, and pipe into grab gedit. So this will show us the uh, gedit process information. Now if I want to filter out uh, some other such as grep command too from some process so I'm just gonna do grep v and grep and our goal is to get the process ID which is uh, in second column. To get the process ID, we can use a filter uh, by using a command. And then the dollar two uh, are, will have a, a second argument value. Um, so I'm going to print that one. Print dollar two. And just hit enter. Can see it give us uh, this process ID over here. So I need this command and add it with the kill to kill this process. So let's write our script. First, I will add shebang and bin bash we are going to ask the user to enter the process name we can use echo and please enter the name of process. And then we are going to read the user input with the read command and save in proc name. And now we are going to use a kill command to kill the process. We need the process ID. We can get this with this expression. Yes, AUX, the one we tried manually. Now we are just uh, adding it to our script. It's gonna be grab. And we need a dollar sign with proc name. And then grab minus V, grab, and then our filter, awk, and print to get our process ID. 
from this the second argument the second column will be in dollar two so, so this whole expression will give us a process ID of uh, the process that user enter and we will pass that to kill command let's try it save it and I'll run our program and here I need to enter the name of process that will be de-added for us and hit enter and let's see on our terminal if gedit is closed and we can see on our terminal that gedit is terminated and we can also confirm by running this command and we can see that process is terminated so this way we can write a batch script to kill a process to keep on learning please subscribe to my youtube channel asimcode keep supporting me and thank you for watching